I'm going to talk about business, how to start one, how to get an idea, a grasp on what you should start a business on because there's so many things out there that people are so curious about and they're interested in seeing more about this. So this is such an incredible opportunity for you to know more about business and how what that really entails because we often think of business something really big like Apple, Microsoft, Tesla, and it doesn't have to be like that. So I'm going to show you more about the business side of things. So let's get started. So first of all, have an idea. Think about what you like, what you don't like. Think about exactly how that relates to you. For example, you have curly hair and you don't know many brands that are that are really that work well with with all hair types and you want to have a brand that takes care of its that takes care of its people that are in that have curly hair if you're passionate about your hair and you care so deeply about that you care about people having a natural hair then you should start a brand on that because if you can't find a brand that satisfies your needs that means that there's something that it's missing so look over that if you're obsessed with jewelry you don't see a jewelry that will make you feel confident a jewelry that make you feel luxurious that makes you feel good about your own self then go and find something find a supplier find someone that can help you with that great idea um have a skill do you know how to code you can sell yourself on fiber you can sell yourself on places like skillshare where you can teach a class or you know more about coding and you know about that and you want to teach an online community start building youtube channel there's so many things out there that can start a business with low low cost and you don't have to have much you don't have to have much you, all you have to have is an idea you you i'm pretty sure you have all of the things in your own room in your house where you can find that number two is create a business plan and a business plan is basically an idea is it has your marketing plan you have a plan on who you are targeting you have a plan on who will be the people that you're catering towards um a lot of people want to have a business and they want to meet every single one and you can't do that you can't meet an entire community at first but it, but then as you go as you climb that success ladder then yes you can do all those things but at the beginning just focus on a specific person are you targeting young women are you targeting young men are you targeting the elderly are you targeting people who are in school or people who have a second job are you targeting single moms are you targeting uh, moms that have twins are you targeting people from low income are you targeting people who have high levels of wealth understand that client is so so important and that's why you have to get a business plan on how you're going to target because the way that you target a young person is not the same way that you're going to target an elder that's because each generation has its own way of life the young people love social media so you perhaps are going to build build your business on social media and the elderly perhaps they want you to be knocking on their own doors and see if you can potentially you know get that idea to them and they're eager to find those things but you've got to learn how to target those people before you start doing anything so that is that find a way of how do you protect yourself legally how do you come up with funding how do you price your products or your services that's why a business is so important and you can always find opportunities on how you can learn building that business plan because it does take a while but it's just brainstorm it's just taking it step by step and writing it down and the reason why a business plan is so important is because it provides you so much clarity on what your business is all about. So you do that. Number three, learn secure financing. Where are you going to get financing from? Are you going to bring potential investors into your business? Are you going to self-fund? Are you going to invest 
time up front so you can reap the rewards later. Learn how your funding works. Each business has its own funding. One takeaway that I want to let y'all know is that you shouldn't get yourself into debt if you're trying to get a business. Start small and then build your way up. All right. Uh, number four is register your business. Choose a name. You can find if your name has already been taken on Instagram socials, on all socials platforms, or you can find yourself on Facebook. You can also look on Google and see if anyone has taken your name. This is very important because you want to have the best, best um, name for your for your own products. Think about this wisely. There's so many ways you can find names. You can ask family, friends. You can read books. You can ask your friends, your family, anyone that could potentially help you with this big idea. All right. Obtain necessary permits and licensing. If you're going to have a restaurant, make sure that you have passed all of the sanitation requirements and all of the permits that you need to have in order to establish that restaurant. Make sure you're up to date with the guidelines of your city so you don't have problems later on. And number five, create marketing. How, how is your marketing going to look like? Is it going to be on social media? Is it going to be on regular TV commercials? Are you going to pay someone else to do it? Are you going to do influencer marketing? Are you going to do CEO content? Are you going to make create content for your own social media? Learn how you're going to market yourself. Are you going to put yourself on a poster, on a billboard, or on the front of a bus? Or are you going to let your family members and friends know more about this? Know about that. And then the next thing is plan, plan, plan. Have promotions. Have a big, big party when you are having your first release because this is so important. It catches the attention of so many people out there that are interested in your own products. So don't get discouraged. It takes a level of time. It takes a level of savings for you to get there but everything is possible we've seen so many entrepreneurs in the last in the last decade in the last 20 years that have built successful businesses and they all started with just one idea so don't get discouraged you got this i'll see you in the next on the next video bye